Happy Monday, everyone. Wow, it's been a busy weekend. Lots of fun things happening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the Super Bowl yesterday. If you did, we actually watched it. We went uh, over to a friend's house, a really great friend's, and uh, actually like watched the whole thing. I don't know if I've ever like sat down and watched, but we had this great banter going and asking questions. We're not, we're not football people. <laughs> so it was interesting kind of learning the game and, and, um, and just kind of having fun, like bantering and laughing and, and, and sharing good times. So the other thing that's been going on, I have finally finally made an online shop for my art. Are you trying to say hi? <laughs> I finally made an online shop for my art. I'm so excited to share my art with you guys, my photography. Um, it's something I've always wanted to try. I am, I am kind of almost holding myself back from just dumping everything on there trying to come up with like a, a reasonable game plan. I don't want this channel to change much. I want it to still honor Sarah. I'm still wanting to talk to you about those moments of grief and anxiety and tension and all of life's challenges to help myself and you guys get through them and to feel that we're not alone. But also part of my journey is seeing my growth and how much I am starting to change and grow and be a completely new person since Sarah's past. Um, and how much confidence I'm starting to realize that I'm getting from, from that experience that I can go through hell and back and come out stronger um, and honor her. And I know that this is something she would be so proud of. Um, and so I want to, uh, I want it to be an avenue for telling stories and sharing beautiful things that help all of you feel better, feel, bring peace in some way, hopefully, um, because I feel like that's kind of who I'm becoming, like my entity is becoming defined as someone who wants to live a peaceful life and I want to share that peace with everyone else. I'm not a counselor. I'm not an expert in any of this, but it is so helpful to talk about it and to, when I feel that energy, that peaceful energy to try and radiate it to, to everyone around me. And I think art is a fantastic way to do that. So I have put up a few items in the shop. I, um, I'm not quite sure. Right now I'm sticking to pretty basic stuff. There's gonna be like posters and canvas prints and I'm making some like thank you cards. Um, and I'm just trying, I'm, I'm mostly sticking to that at this point. If there is, if you guys get on there and you are like, ooh, this would be really cool as this, uh, drop it in the comments and I'll play around with it and see what it looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, I it, it's a journey. <laughs> this is a new experience for me running an online shop. It's a print on demand. So I will upload my stuff and through your um, requests and or advice, I will tweak things and change things and make things based upon what you guys are wanting to see. Um, clearly, you are not obligated to purchase anything. I am just happy if it brings you peace, seeing the photos and hearing the stories behind it. That's the other part. I want to get the storytelling integrated into it uh, because every photo has a story behind it, right? So the few things that I have up, there are some flower photos. Uh, and so I'm gonna kind of, this, this I'm gonna tell a story behind the photos 
and I'll show you the photos throughout this video. And then you're welcome to go to the shop and look at what the, it is as a product. And if you like it, great. If you just want to hear the story, that's okay too. I just wanted to give that as an offering to everyone. So, um, okay. So the story behind the flowers, there are two flower photos. One, I've named them. I'm trying to make a connection with the names um, to be meaningful. Um, so there is a photo of a lupin that is kind of growing in what looks like a barren wasteland. wasteland. And I've named it Blooming in Adversity. And it going back and looking at the photos, it really, I feel like reflects this journey I've been on for the last year, six years of taking something that's really, really hard and coming out even better on top of it. And so that's the first one. Um, the other one is a picture of these um, wild flowers growing out of a dead log. And that also feels very representational of, of everything. And I think I've just named it um, Mountain Wildflowers. But the meaning for me behind that photo is like life from death and bringing that full circle and that we're all a part of it, and it's, uh, we're, none of us are getting out of it, right? And that the beauty that come, can come from, from an ending. So that is kind of the personal meeting. The photos themselves were taken up at Mount Hood. Um, this was a few years ago. I. Uh, Talk some friends into going up. There's some great hiking trails around Mount Hood in the summertime. I think this was like late August. And uh, I, at the time, had no idea that um, right around the base of the mountain, up by uh, Timberline, which is kind of the highest ski resort, the wildflowers go crazy at that time. And so I brought my camera with us thinking, oh, I'll take pictures of my friends and the mountain. And um, when you get up to the top, you're like right at the base of the mountain. It's spectacular. And so uh, we picked a trail and we started hiking and we just took our time. Um, there was a spot that we got to where you're, I don't know if you've heard of the Pacific Crest Trail. The Pacific Crest Trail, it kind of connects to part of these trails and, and then goes off. And there's a certain spot when you're entering the Mount Hood National Forest in the wilderness, you come across this box and it basically <clears throat> says, if you're going past this point, put down your contact information and what day you were passing this box. So if you go missing, we have a documented like time and place you are at so that we have like a starting point so that people can go and check those boxes. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't ever recall seeing a box like that, but that's probably a good idea. A lot of backpackers go through here, especially it, it's helpful. I think if people are, are hiking the PCT, um, uh, for a very long distance, it's a way of like keeping track of where they are, um, and uh, so if something happens, they can kind of find the last known location. Uh, anyway, I just thought it was funny um, and interesting. Not so funny, I guess, but interesting. And so we were, we were just having a great time. And there is this point when you get up to the mountain and you're hiking, you get away from the parking lot, you get away from the world. It is the best. I'm getting chills thinking about it. It's the best moment. Ever. The world, like the human world, drops away. 
and all you can hear is the trees talking with the wind in them. And it's this, the sun is on your face and you're warm, but the cold air for the mountain is sweeping down. And I love that, that mixture of warmth and cool. And then the trees all, because there's no other sound of civilization, no cars, no people, no nothing. The trees are so loud when the wind blows. And I, I just, it is the best feeling in the entire planet. I love it so much. And I really would love to go back up there this summer to, to feel that. It is my most favorite feeling in the whole world. I love it even more than the ocean. It feels like the earth is talking to you. And I am so... I am at the most peace. Like I'm truly, truly, every time that moment happens, I am so relaxed and like, I always, I end up stopping and closing my eyes and taking your breath. And I'm like, there it is, right? So then I turn around and this beautiful view is in front of me. Here's that picture. I don't know, now I don't know what mountain is in the background. We have a lot of mountains. I don't even know what direction I'm facing. I, now looking back at, I could probably figure it out based upon the sun, but my brain power isn't that strong right now. And um, my friends and I just stand there and stare and it's gorgeous. And we just kind of fall quiet as we like venture further and further in on this trail and we finally kind of find this outcrop that's kind of off the path and quiet and we stop and we have lunch and we look at the flowers and we just embrace each other's company and what's around us and the more we look around us then the more we start seeing little details and those are those flowers And uh, by just stopping and being still, sometimes I find the best, you find the best moments, right? And so the, the one that got a little crazy was the, um, the lupin with the sand all around it. That was actually down a steep slope. Um, that was not stable enough to stand on. So I belly crawled, my friends held onto my feet and I belly crawled down the slope as they're like holding onto my feet like a chain so that I could get close enough to this lupin and get the right angle to take its picture. And then they like, I belly crawled back up and they pulled me up. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And then, uh, had to get some photos. Some of these are going to be candid photos of Mount Hood that aren't edited, uh, that were just, you know, quick phone photos. But um, it was a glorious day. And we came down from that mountain just glowing. We were so at peace and happy. And sweaty. <laughs> it was warm. <laughs> but, um, I'm so glad I was able to capture just a few of those little magical details of that mountain, right? Um, so that was that day, amazing day. I just wanted to share that with you. And once again, uh, if you are interested in uh, any kind of art form with those photos on it, um, go to my new uh, shop. I'll put the link in the description. Enjoy. No pressure. I just want to be able to share with people. And um, I will keep working on new fun things. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys, I have a lot of drawings of 
animals that I was going to turn into a book and their little character drawings of, of specific animals is going to be like a, like a, <clears throat> the bee in your name is for bear who is brave and, you know, type of a, like build your own book kind of a thing. Never got there, but I have all these drawings. I'm tempted when I, I uploaded one and it just didn't seem to fit with the rest of the photography stuff, but I love, love the artwork. And I realized that the platform that I'm using has kids products like onesies and small shirts or even like little block canvases that like maybe people could order um, the animal that represent the name the letters in their names and they could like put all the animals to out to spell their child's name if that is something that sounds really cool i'm looking for some feedback i'm thinking about starting a second shop if there's enough interest in like kids stuff um yeah just drop it in the comments if you think that might be interesting um it might it would be a good way to kind of um use what I already have and share that and make some kids happy. Um, I love, I love, I love making kids happy as I was a preschool teacher for a long time and drawing for them makes me happy. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, take a look at the stuff on the shop. I promise I will not stop doing what I have been doing. I just am adding a, a new component that I feel passionate about and trying to grow myself. So you guys have a great afternoon and I will see you soon. Bye.